Welcome to Tiny Artist TV and behold my problem. So I really have a thing for generating random color palettes especially when I'm just trying to design a one-off character and as you can see I've collected quite a few over the years some of which I haven't even used yet so we're gonna fix that. Um, my goal going forward is to this probably won't be a daily thing but I want to draw a character for each corresponding color palette. I haven't even counted how many there are here. Give me just a second and I'll get that number for you. Ooh. So I, according to um, some simple math here, have over 200 color palettes generated. I don't think that's quite right. Let me redo the math. So it's only 100 color palettes, 111 to be specific, still a lot. And considering that this is something that I'm planning to do before the end of 2022, it could work out that I'm drawing closer to one character a day. Um, and huh, I may be doing groupings of characters as well, just depending on how I feel, but yeah. This is actually something that I've wanted to do for a while because every time I pull up uh, for a Saturday morning shuffle and I don't go to coolers.co, I sometimes use this instead, especially when I'm doing my um, like costume challenges and things like that. And I see all of these unused color palettes and I'm like, man, if only I had an excuse to use it. And of course I do. I'm an artist. I can just bop, have an excuse. Now I'm making an excuse for myself to use these color palettes and create characters with them. So. Let's see what happens. So, how is this going to work? Well, it's going to work like any other randomly generated video that I've done in the past. Um, I'm going to assign each palette a number 1 through 111, and as I work through them, I'm going to cross them off the list, highlight them, whatever. You get the gist. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you've seen me do this um, on pre-generated lists before. And today, I'm going to be doing palette number 1. So let's see what I get. Alright, so I've got my number generator up. It's just from, you know, generic Google number randomizer. And we're going to type in our minimum and our maximum and see what the first color palette is. Number 72. Give me just a moment. <laughs> okay, so I've done the smart thing and I went ahead and numbered all of these and apparently I was still wrong. It's not 111, it's 115. Regardless, still plenty to work with. So we are looking for number 72, which is spring morning. Very appropriate for this time of year, considering that we are in, well, as far as North Carolina weather is concerned, the last week or so of spring before it just gets hot all year round. So let's draw a nice, easy breezy spring girl. The inspiration for this one came pretty easily as you see I'm basically just getting into my first sketch and normally I'll have to do a couple of sketches but I did look up a little bit of like a spring green inspiration something that I could pull from and then I thought these colors were absolutely perfect to do a Luna Moth type character and so that's what I did. Um, There's not really anything deeper than that. I just wanted to draw a cute little sort of chubby moth girl with lots of fluff. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the only thought I had going into this character. Um, the other designs that I do kind of a little bit later on. At this point, I've been working on a couple of designs. Uh, do you get a little more complex? But for the first one, I just wanted to do something simple to kind of dip my feet back into uh, producing and editing these videos and drawing characters and getting into a comfortable rhythm that would let me do 115 characters without too much uh, stress.
so here we are at the end of character one, my cute little Luna Moth girl. Um, I am planning on keeping these videos pretty short so far, they've been ending up being about 10 minutes or less, and uh, I'd like to keep it that way. So for now, I'll see you guys later, have a weird day.